Hello, internet. Hello, my faithful 11 subscribers. I mean, I forgot how many I have. But, um, so by now, if I was subscribed to my channel, I would be wondering, <coughs> how come this dude's always wearing the same sweater? Well, that's because it's my, it's my favorite sweater. Actually, it's my only sweater. But I've had this sweater for a long time. But this video, I wanted to say and speak on is about the American illusion. So last night I called Metro PCS customer service and I got someone from Africa, from the motherland. First I was getting people from the Philippines. So I was like, okay, I need to speak to somebody from America. You know, I don't want to sound, I don't want to come off rude or nothing like that, but I just don't understand the accent and it's my fifth time calling. I was on the phone for 40 minutes earlier today. I need someone from America. So when I called that time, I got someone from Africa. I didn't know she was African. I told her, oh, you don't, you don't sound African. So she asked me how Africans sound like. So I told her about coming to America. You know how they have that, that same accent in every movie. But let me get to the point of the video that I wanted to make today, my vlog. So, I was talking to her how about, about how I thought about visiting Africa, and then um, she was like, well, you could try Nigeria. I was like, oh, no, I'm good. There's a Boko Haram up in Nigeria. I don't have time for that. And then she was like, um, you know, Rwanda, Uganda, the U.S. dollar could go so far, and all that good stuff. And so I asked her, what did she think about America? And then she was like, oh, America, America is a land land that everybody wants to be. Everybody have a car. Everybody live live good life. Everybody um, everybody is happy. Like she started listing all these 10 things. Everybody has money. And I'm thinking to myself, man, I don't, I don't have money. I mean, I got, I got a little cheddar, but I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I, I drive a Prius, <laughs> you know. And so I was like, well, let me set you free on this illusion that they show you about America on African TV. Just like they used to show us growing up a bad illusion of Africa on American TV. When they showed us Africa, they showed, you know, um, starving kids with flies on their eyes and uh, just really, really bad poverty. Um, they never showed anything else. So that's the portrait of Africa. but. Now that I'm older, and we got YouTube, we know that Africa has much, much more to offer, right? Same with the United States. They show the illusion of wealth and prosperity in Africa, but I doubt they ever show the, um, the unemployment rate or the, the homeless crisis in, in California. You can't afford to live in California on uh, even a 50K a year salary. Uh, they don't show the crime. They don't show the mass shootings. They don't show the uh, the division, the political um, uprisings, and the the coldness of our culture. Every man for himself. The cutthroat corporate America. Um, they don't show the hustle and bustle and the struggle and the stress and the whether it's the house and the car, the loans that come with those houses and cars, the education, the loans, the life sentence student loans that come with those education. So, my amigos, if you was in Africa, if you ever see this video, if you are in the islands, Haiti, Bahamas, um, well, I was born, by the way, there's a lot of opportunities in America. But, let's put it in perspective. I'm, I'm, what they show you guys on TV is an illusion. It's like Facebook. Before Facebook, there was TV. No, that most people here are not living like the Kardashians. They're living paycheck to paycheck. Average American has like I uh, heard like five hundred dollars in their savings account. Um, we are a capitalist society, but really we're a social capitalist society. If the U.S. government cut out welfare and food stamps, a lot of people will starve. Um, the system is broken. But with that being said, as 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 messed up as and um, imperfect as America is, not just as a, 
it's, it's economy, it's economic opportunities, it's um, uh, you know racism, colorism, class uh, structure. There's a lot of opportunities here. Um, I will come to America to make a life of myself, but send that money back home and probably find a way to make it back home with the boatload of money that I have the opportunity to make here. Um, I always imagine, see I have a romanticized idea of living overseas too, because I, I assume in places of Af like in Africa or the islands or Latin America, I assume they have a richer culture than the States. Um, you know how American food is bland? Um, our culture is pretty much bland also. I mean, it's centered around sports and, and gluttony and eating as much food. Um, people are not necessarily inviting. I've never invited a neighbor to my house, neither have they invited me to their house, um, unless it was one special occasion. So I assume overseas, like people, you know, they, they, they know each other, they have, they may not have, you know, the, the, the huge infrastructure and, you know, uh, stock exchanges like in America, but they have a different culture. They, it's richer. People might be more inviting. Not everywhere. I heard uh, there's racism in, in Egypt and, and colorism with the Arabs, but you go to, Mor you go to Morocco and they embrace you. They, they invite you in. They, they love on you, you know. They genuinely happy. So I assume like there's more places outside of Mer outside of America where the culture and the people are more genuinely happy than in the states. Because um, most of the people I know, they have a nice vehicle. They come to a, a you know a, a big house. When I say big, I mean like 2,000 square feet. But they never smile. They never they, you know they work 10-hour days. They, they, it's like life is passing them by. Um, so there's pros and cons to living anywhere, I guess. But don't get it twisted. What they show you guys on TV about the United States is a straight illusion. Happy people, we got so much road rage around here. People are so stressed. Um, people are, they only have things to try to impress other people uh, rather than having things to enjoy for themselves. Um, America is Facebook, which is why Facebook was founded here, because they portray a snapshot of the beautiful life in America. It can be, but it's a struggle. It's, it's a fight. It's a climb. But with that being said, I thank God for the opportunity to have lived in this country, to have immigrated to this country from the Bahamas. But I do wonder, I wonder how life would have been if we stayed there. I think there would have been less economic less economic opportunities, um, but definitely a richer Caribbean culture and better food. That's my time. Ghosts, fear the Lord, walk in humility and humbleness. Out.